What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Then We Eat. I think it's time for another copycat recipe. On this week's episode, we're going to be making a flamethrower burger. This is one of Dairy Queen's more popular burgers and one of their more spicy as well. So today, we're going to take our shot at not only recreating this burger, but maybe making it a little better as well. Before we get into it, let's give it a quick cut and a quick taste so we know what we're dealing with. So right off the bat, what we see here, two one-third pound patties, cheese in between, bacon on top of that, lettuce, tomato, and the famous flamethrower sauce. So let's see what it's like. That is tasty. You get a nice kick, nice flavor from the patties, and the bacon is very good too. It is quite spicy, so if you don't like a spicy burger, you may need to cut back on the flamethrower sauce. We're not gonna do that here today because we like heat. So like I said, it is spicy, but let's break this burger down layer by layer to see what we're dealing with. So we've got a bun with flamethrower sauce, lettuce. Now, this is some decent chunks of lettuce, and it's a little flimsy. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use shredded lettuce instead of whole pieces of lettuce. Beyond that, a slice of tomato, We've got some bacon here. Now, this is actually jalapeno bacon. So it's not just your regular bacon. We'll show you how to do the jalapeno bacon here in a minute. We are gonna keep the jalapeno bacon and we may even put some jalapeno peppers on it as well. We've got a patty with cheese and a second patty with cheese. So there's cheese on top of both layers. We'll keep that as well. And then the bun. I think what I'm actually gonna do for the bun here, I'm gonna put some of the flamethrower sauce on the bottom as well as the top. Maybe not quite as much as they put on the top. Put a little on each side so you get a little bit of flavor no matter where you're eating it. So there you have it, layer by layer. Now let's get cooking. All right, so let's start with the burgers. These are nice and simple. Two pounds of ground beef in a bowl. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, then stick them in the freezer and carry on with the rest of the ingredients. So. You want maybe a tablespoon of ground black pepper. We'll say about a teaspoon of salt. Then we'll just give that a mix together. We're just gonna weigh that out into six third pound patties. You've seen me do that before. Just gonna use my fancy homemade burger maker. So I'll go ahead and do that. We'll see you when it's time to make the next ingredient. Okay, so the burgers are done. I've thrown them in the freezer for now. Just let them kind of firm up just a little bit before we put them on the barbecue. In the meantime, let's start working on our flamethrower sauce. So we're gonna start by putting one cup of mayonnaise into a food processor. Next, we're gonna add three tablespoons of ranch dressing powdered mix. And finally, we have three and a half ounces of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. And don't worry, you shouldn't have too many issues finding the chipotle peppers and the adobo sauce. We don't live in a super large town we were able to find them at our local grocery store. You can also get them on Amazon as well. They're pretty simple to find. We're gonna give the whole thing a blend together. Just gonna scrape down the sides, try to make sure all that mayonnaise gets incorporated. I can see a lot of white on the back side for sure. And we're gonna give it another blend. Now let's give it a little taste, make sure it's all right. I think it could actually use a little bit more pepper. So we added a little bit more of the sauce and two of the chipotle peppers. So let's give that a blend again. And we'll taste it again. So I'm still not entirely happy with the flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the entire can. So I'm still not entirely happy with the flavor of that. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of Then We Eat Devil Powder to it as well. And then that should be good to go. And we'll give it a taste test. Hmm, that's much better. That's quite tasty now. Nice smokiness from the adobo sauce and the chipotle peppers. Great heat from the Then We Eat Devil Powder. Very tasty. And if you wanted to cut back on the mayonnaise just slightly, you could probably get away with that as well. Okay, so the sauce is done. The barbecue is now on to cook our burgers. So let's get going on the bacon. So Dairy Queen uses jalapeno bacon for their flamethrower burger. What is jalapeno bacon? Well, in this case, it's bacon cooked with jalapenos on top. So I've gone ahead, I sliced up some jalapenos. So we're just gonna lay the jalapenos across the bacon. So there we go. We've got jalapeno completely covering all of our bacon. So now what we're gonna do, 
We're gonna put the bacon in a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes, let that cook up. In the meantime, we'll carry on with the rest of our ingredients. So what else goes on this burger? Well, we need some sliced tomato. So we'll just go ahead, take a vine tomato in this case. We're just gonna cut it into slices big enough to fit on our burger. We also need some lettuce. Now Dairy Queen uses chunks of lettuce. I'm not gonna do that today. We're gonna shred some up. So I've just got an iceberg lettuce here and we're just gonna kind of cut it into shreds as best as we can. In this case, it's still not quite shredded. So what we're gonna do, we'll just give it a quick chop. That should kind of cut it into the shreds. So as you can see, that's our cheese, our lettuce, and our tomato cut up, ready to go. So the next step, let's throw those burgers on the barbecue. Okay, the burgers are off the barbecue. Let's start building. To start with, our bun. We have a nice brioche bun here. I think it's gonna work very well for this. Fairly similar to the bun that's used by Dairy Queen. So, onto the cutting board. So to start, we're gonna go with our flamethrower sauce. So we'll just take some of our sauce, we're gonna spread it onto the bottom and the top of our bun. Just like that. Next up, we're gonna put a patty on the bun and another patty on top of that. Now, when Dairy Queen makes their burgers, they've got jalapeno bacon. So they just throw the jalapeno bacon right on. In this case, we made our own jalapeno bacon. So I'm actually gonna keep those jalapeno peppers and I'm gonna put them on the sandwich as well. One slice of bacon there and another slice of bacon beside it. Next up, a couple slices of tomato. Try to cover the whole sandwich. Add a little bit of lettuce on top of that. And we'll top the whole thing with our bun. Give that a bit of a squish, try to hold it all together. All right, let's give it a quick cut and then we can give it a taste. As you can see, you got nice sauce on the top and bottom, two patties with cheese layers, bacon, jalapeno, tomato, lettuce. Looks like an excellent sandwich. Let's see how it is. That is a very tasty burger. I wasn't convinced it was gonna taste that much like a flamethrower burger before, but let me tell you, that is actually very, very, very close to the flamethrower burger we showed you earlier. Okay, now let's compare the two burgers. So a couple things I've noticed. Number one, our patty is a lot thicker than theirs. They claim that they put two third pound patties on their burger. I'm not convinced because we did put two third pound patties on ours and our burger is a lot thicker than the Dairy Queen burger. The other big thing I noticed with the patty, their patties actually weren't all that good. Our ground beef mixture is much better than the burger patty that you get from Dairy Queen. That flamethrower sauce and the jalapenos is very similar. It's a very, very similar tasting burger, but I have to say, this one is just that little bit better, little bit fresher of ingredients, and a little bit better ingredients. So that's it for this video. Hit like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload next. We try to upload a new video every Friday. We also put the recipes in the description box below in case you missed them. And let us know in that comments below. What would you like to see us make next? Is there another copycat recipe you'd like to see us try to tackle? Or is there another recipe in general? Let us know in the comments below. We will try to make sure we film that in the near future. Oh, and don't forget, first we cook, then we eat.